first of all, not every conversation is always going to be easy, but it's extremely important that we continue to stand up for uh, the things that are important for Canadians. Uh, this is something we always do, and uh, we will continue to. Uh, I highlighted uh, areas in which uh, we can and should be working together. A good example is the Nature COP, COP15, being held in Montreal uh, over the coming weeks. At the same time as I highlighted uh, areas of mutual concern, uh, geopolitical challenges from the war in Ukraine to the uh, situation in North Korea. I also highlighted uh, things of preoccupations to Canadians, um, like uh, the question of interference with our citizens, and highlighted that it's important that we be able to have dialogue about this. Part of our values as Canadians is being open and frank about the conversations we have, keeping Canadians involved uh, and apprised of what it is that we're doing and the conversations we're having here, and that's exactly what I did. Why do you think, though, I mean, why do you think he was so upset? What was the message that he was trying to get across to you? Do you think this was a power play of some kind? Uh, we know that China is uh, an important global player in uh, the economy and has a very big impact on events around the world. And Canada needs to be able to engage uh, constructively and directly on areas we can work together while at the same time we continue to uh, be there to challenge on human rights, on values and principles that matter to Canadians uh, and look to advance the interests of Canadians. And this is something that we're going to consistently do in uh, a clear and hopefully a constructive way.